Hello everyone, this is Danish from jobskillshare.org. Today we are making a new video for Help Desk Ticketing System course, which is a pretty good course for anyone that is getting into IT or you're considering um, getting a job. Uh, usually you go, you go to interview and you would get these questions. Do you know how to use ticketing system? Do you know how to assign calls? Just to quickly give you an example, if you forget or you're brand new to these videos, you would definitely want to go through the course because I'm not going to teach that all over again. But just want to give you a quick reminder and quick um, scenario where we will basically you're trying to apply for a help desk job you go there let's pick one help desk right here we're going to pick this tech help desk uh, one let's say you're applying for this job and watch what happens if I just type ticket there you go they're gonna ask you these questions almost every job you put you try to search they're gonna say ability to identify or organize tickets according to blah 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 and forward tickets this is a normal uh, process for any IT person you need to know ticketing system okay so that was a quick 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 overview but definitely go back and walk take this whole course because this is where I teach everything in detail so what are we doing today we are adding a new video basically we're doing this video because this might make it a little easier for people to play around with full ticketing system without downloading it now when you say without downloading it how is it possible well there's a lot of cloud solutions now that you don't have to do anything on your computers you don't have to create all the labs and everything you can just go to the 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 site and if they plow if they provide any cloud solution links and stuff like that you're good to go so show show that to us so go ahead and go to google.com and type spiceworks because this is the one that we really uh, think that it has everything for you to learn about ticketing system so you go to spiceworks you click on spiceworks and then there is right there launch cloud help desk remember we didn't have this before but now you do so you click on that and watch what happened all you gotta do is to put a company name in there so if you're a student or you you're this could be you know a good solution for you uh, if you're working for someone and hey you, you can just provide these solutions to them so I'm going to create job skills share uh, and I'm going to say one job skills share one okay and that's going to be our link it says right here domain job skills share one dot on dot spikesword.com now it's on them basically I guess you can change these links later on but for testing you can just click next and here basically it's going to say oh we need to uh, add your information so just put that email and password and click launch my help desk that's simple and you have the whole help desk to train yourself or you can use it for business so when you make your account and you click on launch you'll see this there you go I mean we did this remember in our in our videos before we had to go there we had to download it we had to install it we have to date we have to play around with some things now you have everything in just few seconds you have every single thing to become an expert with ticketing system this is how easy it became with cloud stuff now so if you want to know your address click on settings here and there you go you see right there I have job skills share help this and my portal name is this so if I put this right here this is going to be your your portal for your company so basically for example if you if you're uh, if you're if you're using this link all you have to do is to share it with this users and bam they got a full you can just customize this but they have everything right there so here you can type an email um, so right here like say for example your email and I'm just going to say okay my email is whatever abc at jobskillshare.org and I say I need help and I need help with my PC and this is how users basically go and submit the ticket there you go this person submitted a ticket and at the admin side where you go to help this right here there you go I need help and now you can play around just like a full um, you know a help this guy or a new entry-level person trying to learn about ticketing system this is the perfect place it's so easy to build one and you can stop playing around with so you can see right here we have the same thing that we talked about assignee categories 
time span you can close it you can basically reopen it wait on waiting on user you can put more information delete it and you can add a lot of stuff with it and then what you can do is to play around with reporting play around with activity right here go to reporting so this is going to make you uh, your training very easy first and then when you go to interview and somebody asks you about ticketing system you when you know all the terms about the help desk and say hell oh, yeah I know how to assign a ticket I know how to you know play around with ticketing system I kind of use my own project Spikesworks and you can show this link to them they will get impressed trust me a lot of people know about this software a lot of people know about a lot about these softwares that are out there right now so that's why I wanted to create this video for full training take this free course it has so many videos and so many corporate level ticketing system like Spikesworks, ServiceNow, TrackIt, uh, some other ones and there's some new ones right here so take this course finish it and you will have no issues with ticketing anymore and that's kinda like I showed you in the beginning of the video that it is so important to know this because every single person every time you open um, a, a job requirement they will put something like they're assigning calls ticketing systems and things like that it is pretty important guys don't miss it alright and after this make sure you take the Active Directory which is another big one alright see you guys this was an update video for this course I'll see you guys soon bye